Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. We're in the Mirage 2000C air-to-air -air gun. So, master arm on. Also, that switch there is our gun arm. We have a separate gun arm, make sure that's on. Next, we're going to look at the controls that we're going to be using. To fire the gun, obviously, we're going to have weapons fire. To select the gun, we're going to use CNMAA gun. To deselect the gun, if we wanted, for instance, use our radar-guided missiles or something, then we would do CNM neutral. And later on, when we use a radar track, or to get that radar track, we will press weapon system command forward to gain the radar track. We're going to select the gun. You can see we've got the gun selected. You can see the gun snake now. We can use the gun in radar mode or non-radar mode. The reason why we would not want to use radar mode is if our radar was damaged or if we wanted to stay silent on the electromagnetic spectrum, i.e. not have any radar emissions. So non-radar first, let's check its radars off. It is to standby. We can change the rate of fire of our gun here. Rapid for rapid rate of fire, LEN for less rate of fire. We can change burst or continuous fire here. PAR is burst fire, where you keep your finger on the trigger and it will cut off after a certain point. Or you can press it again and it says TOT, that will allow continuous firing. So I think we're going to have that. Continuous firing, so I won't waste all my ammo. As for the HUD symbology, of 125 rounds in the right gun, 125 rounds in the left gun. You can see the guns under the fuselage there. There they are twin 30mm cannons. Good cannons, but don't carry much ammo, so you have to be conservative. More HUD symbology. This cross here is our boresight cross. This is where our guns and our aircraft are actually aiming, otherwise known as the longitudinal axis of the aircraft or the datum point. We've got our gun snake here, so this shows the historical path of previously fired rounds. So if we'd fired the rounds and they got to 300 meters away, that's represented by this intersection line here. If they were 600 meters away from whence we'd fired them, they would be represented by this cross here, 900 meters, 1,000 meters, 2,000 meters, and so on. Now, in terms of ranging, we need to be able to range the target optically. And so we have these two lines here, our wingspan ranging lines. So this one here is at 300 meters. This one here is set at 600 meters. The idea is we set them to match the wingspan of our hostile. A hostile is an IL-76. It's a wingspan of 50 meters. What we do is we turn this knob here to set at 50 meters, and then this line here will represent 50 meters at 300 feet so why don't we do that uh sorry meters meters now the problem is we can only go up to 40 so it's going to be a little bit inaccurate but i think because it's such a big plane it's going to be near enough anyway so the big line now represents 40 meter wingspan at 300 meters and the other one 40 meter wingspan at 600 meters and the idea is that we move the hostile so that he straddles this line and fills it with his wingspan and then we can fire and we'll be he'll be at 300 meters or that one at 600 meters and that's how we do basic optical non-radar ranging so let's give it a go just check our master arm is on and our gun arm is on okay that's about right there and let's lift up and fire pow pow we got him that was firing without the radar now we're going to use radar guidance so already got our gun selected out of interest if we want to Deselect our gun, we can press C and M neutral, that takes the gun away, and we're now free to use our bombs, our, you know, uh, whatever we want to use, our Super 530. We're going to select the gun again now. This time we're going to turn our radar on, and now we've got to get a radar track on this guy. So we're going to use special mode forwards, and we talk about this in the ACM usage of the radar video that we've got in the tutorial section for the Mirage. So we're going to press weapon system command forward. We've got a lock on him here. You can see the various stuff that we talked about on that ACM video. Now, the interesting thing for the guns that we're, what we want is we've got the gun snake, and that still does the same job. We've lost the wingspan lines, but we now have a radar ranging pipper. So if we pause that there. So the points of interest here are, first, we now get ranging. We can see that it's 740 meters away from us. When we're in 1,000 meters, roughly, this ranging circle will start unwinding. So it's going to start unwinding roughly about 1,000 meters. And it will unwind all the way until it gets to zero meters and we're pretty much running into him at that point so roughly speaking we've got about 750 meters there about 500 meters there known as good uh, this is about 250 meters i believe that's known as optimal and it's going to be a very simple case of maneuvering our aircraft so that this reticle dot here is onto the hostile aircraft there and then pull the trigger and it's all done for us now it's a little more difficult i find than other aircraft like the f-15 like the flanker like the f-18 i find that this reticule here wiggles about a bit it's quite unnerving but 
It is what it is. Other people don't seem to have a problem with it. And I am a notoriously bad shot. So, you see the ranging there. We're now at good ranging. Let's get all the way to optimal to make sure we get the perfect shot on his... Trying to hit his uh, engine, shall we? Okay, we're pretty damn close now. Let's give a shot. Pa-pow! One engine out and a tail. Pa-pow! Pretty much as simple as that. You see he's now out of track parameters, so we've lost the radar track. So we'd have to go his weapon system command forward again if we wanted to acquire a track again. Like I said, it's a good gun, but not much ammo. So don't go around spraying and praying like I do. You need to be conservative and clever with it. This can pretty much out dogfight just about anything. So you can stay on a hostile six and take your time. I hope that helps and see you later.